Hey guys, and welcome to my last home track meet. Hey guys, I'm so excited for today's track meet. We haven't had one in three weeks, which isn't a lot actually, but I'm still really excited. But I'm only doing one event because it's a home track meet. And next weekend, we have an away track meet in Edmonton. I'm so excited. So that's why I'm only doing one event because our coaches basically just don't want us to like go too hard. So I'm only doing hurdles, but I'm really excited because I haven't done hurdles in a meet in over a month, like a month and a half. So we will see if I get a PR. I think I've probably practiced hurdles maybe like six seven eight times since the meet so i'm hoping i get a pr but the one thing is i do kind of have an injury right now it's not an injury that's stopping me from going to the meet my physio said that i'm good to go to the meet but it might affect my performance a little bit i'm hoping it doesn't but i just want it healed for edmonton because that's like the bigger meet but i'll show you guys if you can see um there's like tape on my leg i'll show you guys in better lighting but basically it's my calf that's injured and there's tape on it so you guys will see when i have my shorts on because then you can clearly see it but yeah there's gonna be tape on my leg for the race but yeah it's just so that i don't get injured even more i don't pull it because it's like a strain but he said it's like a minor strain so it should go away soon if I don't put pressure on it, which like means I can't do the workouts, but it's fine. Cause I should be able to do them soon when this heals. I just don't want to like put more pressure on it and stop it from healing. But yeah, guys, I'm having breakfast for the meat right now. Um, it's about a pop, but I'm doing toast with um, peanut butter and then I'm having a banana. So yeah, that's gonna be a good breakfast. We have to leave around 8.20, 8.25, pretty early for a meet. But hurdles, hurdles is always the first event, so a hurdler, you have to wake up early. So I'm gonna get my breakfast and then I'll tell you guys more. Hey guys, so my breakfast is here. So basically, obviously I just have a banana. I'm not putting it on my toast because um, I just don't have the energy to do that. But and then I have two pieces of toast. So that's my breakfast. Um, we have about 20 minutes until we need to leave. So I'm gonna eat this quick and then all I have to do is change it to my outfit and do my signature ponytail that I do for every meet. <laughs> but for Edmonton, I'm gonna do different styles because my friends are there to help me. <laughs> Anyways, today I'm racing with five people, but the bad thing is, is that in our track, you can't use lanes one and six for hurdles because there's like two walls. <laughs> so bad, like the track is really bad. So like if you put your arms out when you're hurdling, um, you're gonna hit the wall and that's like a safety concern. So we unfortunately have to have two heats because we have to do three and two. So I'll let you guys know if I'm in the two heat, I'm gonna cry. Cause like, I don't wanna race against one person, but my goal is to get first or second because I know that I can do that. And yeah, I'm really confident today, but you know, we'll see what today brings us. So I'll see you guys when I have my uniform on. Hey guys, so we're in the car now. I literally just did my hair style that I do every single track meet. I have these gold studs in because obviously I'm not gonna wear hoops in the meet, but yeah. This is, obviously, I'm wearing stuff over, but I have my jacket, then I have my long sleeve, because they, they tell us to wear this until like five minutes before the race. And then obviously I got my singlet, and then I just have sweatpants on, because you also have to wear that before the race. Um, and then, obviously, my shorts under. But I was like making TikTok, so I uh, forgot to update you guys when I had my fit on. But I'm gonna see you guys after the meet, because I only have one event, so. I don't really have anything to like update in between anything because I'm just being there for one event at 10.05 and then I'm going home. So I'll, I'll update you guys after. Hopefully I have a first or second thing in my hand, like ribbon. But yeah, I'll let you know how it goes guys. Praying for a good result. 
guys it is literally after the meet and i got second i got second so let me tell y'all the story so basically i got first in my heat because i was in the first heat with three people thank goodness but i got first because there wasn't really any competition there but i'm so happy because i got a new pr so i got 1027 and my last time was 1036 so honestly that's a pretty big pr for me and i'm really excited because i've been working hard on my hurdle form and like being aggressive through the hurdles and i'm gonna insert the video probably after this clip and then the second heat comes and this girl beats me and i'm not even racing against her but she got like 1017 which is like, at least she didn't beat me by a lot. That's only, like, 10, 10 milliseconds. So, yeah. But she never did hurdles before, so I'm kind of concerned that she beat me. But it's okay. We're definitely going to work on it for next weekend. We're going to clean up the form because I have another meet next weekend. But I'm still really happy about how it turned out. I got a new color of ribbon. <laughs> but next weekend, it's it's medal. So I really, want, I really want a medal. But anyways, I'm still pretty happy with my race. So, yeah. I'll put it in here, but we're going to go to Starbucks. I just have to quickly put in my laundry and then we're going to go to Starbucks for a little treat. So I'll see you guys after. Hey guys, so I got my Starbucks. I got a the strawberry coconut one, pink drink and three scoops of strawberries because it's literally free and I love the strawberries. So yeah, um, we got that and then I put in the laundry. We have to do two loads because there was like so many, so much clothes. But yeah, that's literally the plan for the rest of the day. I have to finish this conclusion that I didn't finish. Um, I have to work on that. Um, I don't know. Oh, my hair is wet because I spilled some of the drink on my coat. Um, <laughs> so I'm just a bit slop. It's fine. So yeah, I'm just taking you guys along the day to be honest um i definitely have to stretch and ice because obviously my calf and i just raced so i'm gonna do that after lunch and then i'll see you guys later hey guys so i just unloaded like half my laundry because there's two loads but now while i wait for the other one to finish i'm icing my calf because honestly i just want it to get better so i'm doing like everything <coughs> that i can to make it get better oh yeah i have some strawberries left in here i need to eat those but anyways um i'm just trying to make it better in any way that i can so i usually ice one to two times a day um so yeah we're just icing that little calf i'll show you guys there with um corn because i don't have an ice pack at my dad's but i do have my mom's so that's the plan for right now I'm gonna leave to go to my mom's in about an hour. And um, basically we're going to the keg tonight because it was my dad's birthday yesterday. So we're celebrating that. Um, that's gonna be fun. And then yeah, I'll see you guys after I'm done putting away like all the laundry. Hey guys, so I'm home from dinner. I didn't vlog dinner because first of all, there was like a table right beside us. So I didn't wanna just like start filming. But it was so good. I had a burger and fries because that's what I have at every restaurant. Don't don't diss me for that. But anyways, I just did some stretching because um as you guys know I'm currently injured. Um injured. I had a meet today, but um and then my hamstring has also started to hurt. It's it's probably not gonna be as bad as my calf. But it's just because when I do hurdles, that tends to happen because you use your hamstring a lot. And I was going at max effort today. But yeah, I'm going to ice now. I just stretched. Um, so I'm going to ice and lay in my bed. And then I'll update you guys after I do that. Um, but yeah, overall today was a pretty good meet day. I'm really excited for next weekend though. Because um, I want to get a new PR in hurdles. My overall goal is to go over t under 10 seconds. Um, so hopefully I do that sometime in the season because I really want to get under 10. But yeah, overall, I'm happy with my second place ribbon. It's super cute. And yeah, I will see you guys after and maybe I'll talk about it more. Hey, y'all, uh, I just had some quick food. I had yogurt with granola and I just had some water because we always got to hydrate. So good, so good. 
anyways so basically i'm icing right now so you can't really tell but i do have my foot on an ice pack um not my foot my calf and then i have an ice pack on my quad and my hamstring as well just to make sure that they don't get injured because they were affected by like today's hurdling so yeah um i'm gonna end the vlog because i'm gonna go to sleep soon i'm so tired i woke up at 7 20 so yeah but i will see you guys next weekend i'm literally gonna vlog next weekend um hopefully i can get good content at aig i'm hoping that'll be really fun i've met like a really good group of friends at truck so it should be really fun and we'll see how i do next weekend hoping for a lot of pbs prs whatever you call it and a lot of fun times so yeah i will see you guys at edmonton hope you guys enjoyed this last home meet vlog was so fun and super happy about how it turned out so yeah subscribe if you want to and as always stay sarcastic love y'all